don't like it. It's, it's no, no numbers. There's no pictures. There's no videos. There's no, no gameplay. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Yo, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, hope you guys are doing well, hope everyone's having a good day so far. Today, we are going to be getting into something fun, I'm excited for this. Uh, this video is going to be pretty much a TCG tutorial, so if you haven't watched my previous videos on Weirox's TCG project, um, it's very cool, it's like super, like, I would say it's the most impressive thing I have seen out of this community. Out of anything someone has done, the most impressive thing by far. Um, basically, what Weirox did, he recreated TCG in an emulator program, and it works. It, it's basically the original without all the flashy animations, without the traditional multiplayer, but it works. That's what matters. It works, and it's super cool. Um, but yeah, today we are going to be playing TCG just so you guys know how to play. Um, I'm going to be teaching someone. We have a special guest, by the way, um, if you're reading the title, you know who. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be teaching someone how to play, be teaching you guys how to play in case you don't know how to play TCG and want to learn for the first time. Now, before we do get into it, I do want to go over um, how the cards work, how they all work, and I'll do my best to explain. Um, I am a <laughs> TCG prodigy after all. Um, so we're going to go look at some cards real quick. Um, I have this in full screen. This is the program used to play TCG. It's called Octagon. Um, it's pretty neat. It's pretty cool. So there's a lot of different cards. There's a ton. There's different types. Um, you can you can look at all of them. There's tricks. There's there's a ton. There's a ton. Can I full screen this? Ah, perfect. Okay, that works. So let's look at this, right? So there's tricks. Tricks are played during battles. So how they work is, let's say you're attacking, um, you'd add, like, let's say you're attacking and you use this card, you get plus two attack, and how battles work is basically you either build up your defense or you build up your attack, and whoever has the more higher value wins. That's, that's how it works. That's how the whole thing works. And all the tricks do is they help you win the fight. Regardless if you're defending, if you're attacking, they are super important. Um, and the thing is with building decks, uh, the max card count is 40. So you have to, you have to, you know, add cards to your deck wisely. Uh, I'd recommend adding maybe like five or 10 tricks, not a ton. You don't, I would say 10 just to play it safe. Um, maybe five. I don't know. There was a lot of tricks though, because there is a ton. <laughs> There's... Like, it, it go like, there's a lot. There's a lot. And not only that, but there are also different spheres, um, which you can make different types of decks with the spheres. You've got machine, you got chaos, you got nature, you got order. You can make any deck you want. I personally run multicolored decks. I don't use a single one because that is boring, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I, I don't. I don't use any... Um, I don't use uh, any single colored decks. So yeah, I am a multi. But anywho, that's what tricks do. Tricks are for during battle. Now events. Events are what give you coins in order to play creatures. Um, or just, you know, uh, regular cards that you can play on the field. And you can play a total of three um, on the field in your on your side. Uh, but you need events in order to get coins. Um, cause if you don't have enough coins, you can't play the, the creatures. So uh, that's not the only thing they do though. It's not just, they're not just for coins. They have abilities. Um, so like for this one, for example, uh, one coin zap me when I, while I'm zapped, each of your creatures get plus one plus two attack. If it's a, uh, if it's a chaos creature, when you're ready me, turn me face down. So you can use this during battle, I believe. Um, or no, sorry. You use this during your, I believe it's your ready phase or something like that, or set phase. It's all very, con it's it's a little confusing. It takes a bit to like get used to. Um, 
but how some of these some of the resources are different because they they do different things. So for example, since this use since this uses coin, you zap it at you know the beginning of your when you place an event down and you have the coins to spend, you spend the coin first and you zap it. And while it's zapped, um, each of your creatures get plus one attack or plus two attack, assuming you are attacking, right? You probably will be. Um, but that's the purpose of that one. And there's a bunch of different ones. There's also ones that cost stars. So you can use these ones specifically during combat, um, which is cool. I think that's super neat. And the, the resources... Again, they're called resources for a reason. You know, they are for coins, but they're also a resource in how you play. It's super cool. Like, this is probably my favorite thing about TCG is the different types of cards. It's not like, like you know, Magic the Gathering does different types of cards. I don't know what it is about Free Realms TCG, but I love it. It's just, it's so original. Um, It's crazy. Now, the other thing I do want to mention before, because we're going to get into a bunch of different cards is there is a lot of, there's a lot of these gems, right? And the gems are a confusing thing. It took me a bit to understand them. I believe they determine, um, they determine, I guess, there's a, there's a point in the attack phase where you, you'll be drawing cards um, at a certain point during the attack phase. Whatever whatever the gems are is going to determine how much how many points or how much um, I guess attack or defense you're going to get because that's how it works I guess uh, the gems help you win the battle. It's very confusing. It's gonna it's gonna it sounds confusing, but the gems are basically your key to winning. So if you're making a multicolored deck, you need to pay attention to what the gems are gonna be. You basically need to. Put, it's like you need to build your deck around the gems almost if you want to win all the time. Um, or most of the time anyway. But that's that. I'm not going to go over every single resource, but they are a very cool card. And getting into creatures. So there was a ton of different creatures. There's so many different ones you can use. Um, in terms of resources, by the way, I would put 10 in your deck as well. Just 10. Keep it safe. Then you've got 20. Now for creatures, what I do personally is I will do a total, since you got 20 resources, 20 tricks, I do um, I do 18 creatures. So I will put in about 18, and it really it really depends. I, I literally look at, like, what's good and what's not. Um, what I recommend doing is have a balanced uh, creature loadout. So, like, you if you're just running straight, like, six-cost creatures... Um, that's a problem, <laughs> you know, that, that's an issue. I wouldn't do that. I would run balanced because you need to be able to play all the time. If you have nothing but six cost creatures in your deck, you're never going to be able to play a creature. So you want, you want to get like a couple ones, some twos, even threes, and then work your way up to fours. And you want to have a few sixes or fives. You don't want to have a crazy amount. Is, is there actually five cost? Okay, there, well... I guess heroes cost five. Do regular creatures not cost five? That's wild. Um, I would get like like a few sixes then. Um, it, once you've gotten enough fours, threes, twos, and ones. Um, then after that, because I said 18, this is a 40 card deck, you're going to want to do two heroes. You can pick any, of, any you want. I would pick heroes that fit your deck, that like match what you're running. You know, and also you got to pay attention to gems because they, they have four total gems. Just pay attention to what they're running. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to load up my decks. We're going to just, uh, we're going to load up Kaor. So this is mine. These are all the, I believe it's starting with the, yeah, it's starting. So yeah, I run five tricks. I run five um, resources and then... Again, two two heroes, Shifty the Shuffler, Phineas Farstrider. Um, and this is this is I call it KOR because it's chaos in order. So what I do here is I run five five uh chaos and I run five order um creatures. And it works. It works really well. Um I think it's a super important part of the uh deck building. 
if you do a multicolored deck, you're going to want to be all multicolored as well. You can't just have, you know, like, look at this. So I do, fi I do five, five chaos tricks, and I also do five blue. It's the same thing for resources. I keep, I keep it themed. You know, I keep it themed. But yeah, I, I love my multicolored decks. I think they're a lot of fun. Um, they're, they are so much fun. <laughs> I, really, I really enjoy them. But um, that is kind of the deck building explained. It's, it's not too complicated. Once you kind of read everything, you kind of learn how everything goes. And you'll see it here in a second when I play. Um, you'll see how everything works. It's a lot of fun. I, I genuinely say this. Um, I want more people to play this um, emulator because the more people that play it, the more fun we can have in the community because I feel like we're not having a lot of fun. We're just sitting here waiting for a game to come out and you know, this is a great way to pass time. So yeah, uh, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our special guest, Natalie Claire FRS. We are going to be playing TCG with her today. She's going to be learning for the first time on how to play TCG. It's going to be a lot of fun. I hope you guys are excited. I'm super excited to play some TCG because I love it. It's fun. Anywho, Let's get into it. Yo. I can hear I can hear stuff in the background. Oh, awesome, perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> it works. Uh, let me go ahead and start a game. Okay. I can have a password for it. Doesn't need one. All right. I got. Are you Xander? No. Um. That's Digimon. Like everyone, I think any card game can be used with this program. It's like you'll see people doing different card games. Mine should load. Yeah. There oh, it is. gotcha. Okay. There's gonna be a loud ding when you join. Well, sure. Just a little warning. Here it is, sweet. That's good to know. I will lower it. Oh, that's such a cute noise, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you ready? Yeah. We just Let's click go. play, I'm guessing? Uh, I click start, and then it should load it. Sweet. Okay. Oh, cool. Good. Here we go. This is so cool. Yeah, it's it's really like it's well designed. Like minus flashy animations and all that, it still looks really good. Um so yeah. what you're gonna want to do is go to game and you can load your deck that you made if you made one. Yes. Okay. Okay, I think I'm good. Uh, let me, you can only change your hand once. Uh, sure, I'll get a new hand. I didn't even see what I had. Okay, that works. <laughs> oh, I have the first turn. Cool. Everything, from what Weirux told me, everything's pretty automated. Um, you shouldn't have to enter in your own values or anything. But if you need to, you can, uh, there's like little, I don't know if you see those little um, plus and minuses next to all the um, coins and stars. You yeah. Can change, you can change your own values if you need to. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I definitely need to right now. Oh, wait. How'd when you I play... loaded, I was like, wait, coins are... Wait, how'd you play that already? I did the, uh, the coin up, so I had enough coins. Let me wait. Let me look at that. I can't. I don't think I can see it. I suppose it's called cheating, but no, it's not. I just I didn't see that card. Oh, I see. Um, coins. Oh wait, I see. It. Okay, I gotcha. Okay, now you you have to automatically go to your set phase. You have to double click on it. I think. Okay. Doesn't automatically go, it should, but. And then, yep, you just hunt. 
Oh, um, the, uh, so, uh, so what, what you're going to want to do with your creature, um, unzap it real quick. Sure. Um, you have an option to hunt it. So if you, if you, if you right click, you should be able to hunt it and you can, you'll score a point. Oh, yep, okay. I thought that's yeah. what I was doing by doing it sideways anyway. Yeah. Okay. It has been a bit since I played this, so. <laughs> okay. Okay, clicking play works. Um. Uh, So I think it said he had this out in 2019. That's pretty cool. Wait, what? He built Did this he in 2019? Did he get started on this in 2019, or he he built it in 2019? I saw some things in the the Discord or that um, revival board. I think the post was from 2019. Oh, okay. Maybe he did. Um, okay, so I mean, I'm sure he's definitely had updates. Yeah, probably. Um, he did a lot of like patch notes on this game, like a lot. Like even when we were playing, he, f <laughs> I found a bug for him, <laughs> which was really funny. Um, I'm gonna use the yeah. coin ability for surprise. Turn this face. I'm gonna turn surprise face down. I'm gonna play a two cost creature for free. Uh, left column. Oh, I gotta be. In there we go. Let me play it. Wait, I'm. Yes, there we go. Okay. What is it doing? Um. Oh, play for free. There we go. Left column. Sweet. Okay. Figured it out. It only took a bit. Okay. Hunt. And your turn. Yeah, the coins are the coins are neat. Yeah. Like that's the great thing about resources; they're not only just for coins. You, they have abilities tied to them. That's why I really love. Yeah, I definitely have a lot to learn. How is so how is your coin counter going up? I just click the plus button. No, oh no. <laughs> no, so <laughs> you get coins by playing the resources. That's how it works. Oh, okay. So I played one resources, meaning I get one coin. So you have to. <laughs> Sorry, I should have explained this. Um. So you play a resource at the, at the start of your phase, you get one single coin. You only you only use the plus and minuses if you need to, like it's for like um it's like a fail it's like a fail safe that we are added in. Oh, okay. If that makes sense, he he basically like everything's automated, so everything works out. Um, so what you're gonna want to do? Remove Artie. <laughs> From did you do the same thing with the other one? Yeah. With a uh, nog. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> um. So go ahead and remove Artie, and then you can. Take your score back to one. I'll excuse I'll excuse sure. Nog, but <laughs> I think you can delete it. If right click. I see, Should like destroy. Yeah, destroy. There you go. And then you can right click on your score, I believe, and set it to one. I think. Do I have a can. score yet? Yeah, your score your score is on the side there, it's on the right side. I don't know if you can change that. You might not be able to. Oh, where it's a score too. Yeah, I don't know if you can actually. It gives me an option too. To change it to one. 
Well, like, when I right-click it, it says, like, ready, zap, unstun, or destroy. And I can pass it along to you. I keep clicking destroy, though. Um, let's just, let's just say you're at one <laughs> and leave it there. Sounds good. And then, yeah. I guess you'll be at two now if you hunt with Nog. Yeah. But now, but now you know you have to play a resource um, at the start of your phase. Yes. And you don't have to just play resources. You can also play, um, you can play creatures, but they'll be played face down, so you can't use an ability or anything like that if you don't have a resource. Do you have enough coins to do that? <laughs> or... Oh, need you need coins. coins to turn it face down, but I don't I know why. It's on a pre-made deck. Like it's on a pre-made. I pre-made okay. this one. I didn't. I didn't pre-make it the deck well. That's fine. Um, I don't know why the resource tapped. The oh, used a coin. That's why. Right? No. I don't know. Wow. We're. I'm. I'm helping a little bit. <laughs> I'm trying my best. I haven't played in a bit. No, you're good. Wait, is this, oh, it's still your, okay. I only gave myself like six coin cards, so that's a problem. Should we X out and I'll, re I'll load one of the uh, pre-made decks? Do you want to restart it? Yeah. Um, here, here, we can do this. Um. Reset game. And then you can load a new deck. Okay. So I'll, I'll yeah. get the same one that I was running. Uh, okay, this is much better. No, I'll keep this hand. Oh, oh I'm starting. Sweet. Um, play Caution. Uh, okay, screen face set. Uh, I can't play anything. Uh, your turn. Go ahead. Play a wake up call. Two. Um, play Gloam Agent. Left column. And I'm gonna hunt. Return. TT. Once you learn everything, this game is this game's addicting. <laughs> so do you not get a coin after each turn? No, so you get a coin when you play a resource. Every time you play a resource, it's like, well, not just a resource, but anytime you okay. play something as a resource, it gives you a coin. It gives you a single coin. It'll show, it'll automatically show up. Okay. And you shouldn't have to enter the values at all. They should automatically enter. you tap easy money yeah okay so i can kind of explain that card so you paid two coins right no you, okay so when you with that resource when you activate it um and you pay two coins you do have to i think you have to automatically take away the coins but you don't have to play it yet because the whole point of that card you turn it face down and then if you have a creature on the field, you can hunt it without zapping. So you can basically hunt twice. Okay. That's, yeah, that's... I know you said to, um, I know the card is for when cards are on the field, but I thought you have to use them to get coins. So, yeah, the, the resources are for when they're on the, like, field to get the coins. Um, but you can also, like, for example, um, 
easy money since it's a co you sometimes it'll cost coins sometimes it'll cost stars coins are during your ready and set phase but like stars are for when you're in a battle and i'll kind of explain how all that works when we're when we do a battle um but you can okay. unzap it um and any coin you had you can return them yourself <laughs> I think that's all I can do right now. Okay. Alright, so... i play Surprise. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pay one coin. Turn this face down. Point ability, turn the face down. I'm gonna play a two cost creature for free. Sweet. Um I think that's all I can, yeah, that's all I can do. There we go. I'm hunt both of them. Um that's that. I do want to say though about easy money. Um there is an option when you right click on a creature if you have it on the battlefield. Um you can hunt without zapping. Okay, that's cool. So you don't you don't need to automatically like you don't need to just hunt and unzap it. So, yeah. yeah. I'm just not sure how to do anything when you have zero coins. So, wait, you have... Did, how do you not have any coins? I don't know. Um, go ahead and put them to two. If you can automatically okay. change it. Yeah. Okay, um, and then just, um, I would click away from it. Because it should automatically, you get coins when you have resources. Um, if you have a creature, if you don't have resources, play a creature into where the resources are. And you'll get automatically get okay. coins. That's how that works. No, no, no. I meant like so. Put the no, creature. No, I meant like on the side. Yeah, on the side where the resources are, and it's gonna be played face down. Yeah. So, I don't know if you can. Can you bring that back to your hand? Should be able to. There you go. Okay. There you go. And now you have three coins. So yeah, it doesn't just oh, have to be resources, it's just resources are more convenient to play. Like, yeah. um, how I built my deck, I'm using, like, a multicolored deck, you can probably tell. Um, I built the deck, like, I have 10 tricks, 10 resources, um, 18 creatures, and then 2 heroes. That's how I have it built, and I get, like, a good fluctuation of everything. Yeah, it's smart. I'm here to learn, so let's do this. You're gonna battle? Oh no, I'm gonna so. Battle. Okay, so unzap it. You have to, um, you have to attack. If you play a creature in front of mine, we have to attack. We have to do a battle. Is moving it sideways not attack mode? No, no, no. So you can actually right click and attack. Right click on, I believe it's mine creature and you right. attack. And then we'll enter a pretty neat little uh, battle phase. Help. Not working. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, I had a click on my card. Yeah. All right. So d during this time, there's you see the stars next to your value, your attack. Yeah. So if you have a trick have in your inventory or inventory hand, <laughs> um. You can play a trick and really read what it does because since you're attacking, you're going to want to look for tricks that do attack. Since I'm defending, I'd do the same. I'd look for something that gives me defense. The whole point of the battle is whoever has the highest value wins and gets up the point. I won't get the point, but if you win, you get the point. Click to use one. 
Um, I think you have to actually, like, play it like you have to drag it. Like normal. Because your tricks will show up in the little thing that says tricks. Should. You have enough to play it. <laughs> yeah, that that would be that would be the thing <laughs> you need enough to play it. Yeah. So go ahead and All right. go and pass. I don't oh, have him. Yeah. So I just go to go, start go fit. Uh no no, uh pass. Well you should oh, actually okay. yeah, yeah, okay. You should be in go phase so ready and ready phase is like you when you play your resources. Set phase is when you play your creatures. Go is when you're ready to do everything else like attack or hunt. Gotcha. Um, so I'm gonna play Judo Chop. And plus two. Oh, sweet. So because this is a nice. order creature, I'm gonna get plus two defense. I'll be at five. Is that it, or do I do something? If 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 you have nothing, go ahead and pass. So in theory, though, I would be mm. able to play another uh, one, and that's why yes, I have Yes, uh, each player can okay. play one per turn. Um, let's see. Yes, I'm going to pass. Now, this next part is... It's important, um, and I'll kind of explain it. Um, and so basically what you're going to do now, you're going to flip through your cards. Um, it's going to give you like a um, card to play, I guess. I, it's hard to explain when I can't see what you're doing, but um, you see the gems on the bottom of the cards? Yes. So the gems determine... This is the point where your, your value, your number, the red or green, can go up. So, depending on the gems and whatever your corresponding creature has for a gem, your score can go up. It can double. Okay. It's Ma the matching to... the gem part makes sense. Yeah. yeah, you just gotta match the gems. Like, if, if it matches, it matches, and then you get more. I, I, it took me a bit to figure out, because we were excited to explain it to me. <laughs> So I don't think I ever understood it in the old no, game. I probably would have done better in the old game now with this tutorial. Yeah. <laughs> so, did you pick a card? Or did it... Does it have to be a treasure card? Or a... Whatever well, star card? <laughs> um... Again, it's hard to see. Uh, I think you have to just, like, you have to flip uh, any... It says... Finish flipping? I don't... I'm not sure. <laughs> it's It's been a bit. I don't really remember. Um, I guess pick... Oh. No. I, I think... I'll just, just finish uh, flipping. Yeah, finish flipping, and maybe I can figure out this part, because, again, it's been a bit... Um, yeah, no, completely understand. Yeah, I'm finished flipping. See, like, you might not find oh, this successful right there now. There we go. But I'm definitely okay. Learning a lot. So, I'm gonna. Obviously, I'm. You lost this, but you have to flip from your deck. Sorry. <laughs> so, you right click on your no, deck, and you flip a card, and then it'll go to your flipped pile. I see. Okay. Yeah, that's. How it works. Um, so I'll finish flipping and then. Um, battle over? Big glitch. Seems like so. It says your challenging mage lost the battle. Should it be destroyed? I don't want yes. it to be destroyed. <laughs> you have to. Be. Yeah, I <laughs> you know. li literally. Like, no. But see, I don't I don't get a score or anything. I don't No, I didn't get a score. Um if you were to win that, you would uh you would score, I believe. Because you're in defense mode. Yeah, if you're in defense mode, you don't get anything out of it. I get to keep my creature. I mean, that's that's the benefit. Yeah. So next time we're in battle, um, 
Now you know how the flip thing works. <laughs> but that's that's combat yeah. in a nutshell. It's it's a lot of fun actually. It can be fun because me when me and Ryarx played, um, we got to insane values. <laughs> like super like in the tens. You can get really high up. That's impressive. Yeah. Uh are you, are you done with your turn? I think you have to go into your go phase and then end it. <laughs> Yeah, I tried doing that earlier, but the, uh... Hold on. Okay, cool. There we go. Um... I'm gonna play Sweetwater Sarsaparilla. Um... I'm gonna play Moth Dog and Hmm. I'm gonna go in my go face. Uh, I'm gonna hunt Lone Agent Moth Dog Royal Archer. I'm gonna pay zero coins. I'm gonna turn wake up call face down. And I get to ready one of my order creatures. So ready. And I'm gonna hunt again. Alright. Your cool. turn. And it's first to twelve that wins, by the way. Yes. Player. I know. I think what's incredible about this is the fact that all the assets are here for the for TCG. I think that's wild. Okay. Is he like? Was hmm. he on staff ever at all, or did he just like take? Are you talking like? To do, this oh, stuff? Or, do you mean OG staff or like FRS? FRS. I don't think so. Because, I, I mean, I don't know if he was back in the day. I don't think he was. Um, I think, like, he probably just found the assets off of, like, the forums or something or wherever, wherever everyone else got them. Yeah. But he actually utilized them. <laughs> also, no, it's another... It's kind of interesting that uh, you can't say, like, o OSFR. I understand maybe CT... I understand the trading card game not being able to set, but so many of the people I, who made it are like but, the staff's friends. The, so you yeah, think but they the, want the... the thing is with not being able to say, you know, not being able to talk about this project in FRS is dumb because it's not the revival of the game. It's the revival of the of a mini game in the game. I just that's what I don't get, you know. Yeah, no, it's it's not like competition or whatever. If it was like a second revival of Free Realms, I, I get yeah. it, but it's right. not. It's not. It's it's a completely like this. This is an impressive project, and it needs to be praised. You know, <laughs> it yeah. shouldn't be shunned. <laughs> oh, nice. There you go. Uh, the plus one defense again doesn't do anything. You get the plus two attack though, which is good. Yeah. No, it gives me the option for how much I want to give you, to the card. Can you do I, two attack. Do I put the whole two? Okay. Yeah, just the two. Okay. Um. I'm gonna play Magic Unleashed. At the end of the battle, destroy the opponent's battling creature. You don't have to destroy <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to, but like, my other <laughs> trick wasn't a great idea. <laughs> wouldn't have done much. However, I would have. That trick is a waste if I win this. That's the bad thing.
So what is the... What do hmm. I need to do right now? Because I already uh, did the, the not, frog thing. You can't so. play anything? Well, I guess, like, what should I be looking for right now? If you can play a trick, because you have two stars left, if you can play a trick that has that many stars, play it. You don't need to. You can obviously you can just pass if you want to. That's your call. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Okay, so now you flip a card out of your deck, which says shows the free alms backing. Yep. Oh, just just one card though. Do I have to play that card, or could I play any card? It must Wait, be that card, so right? All you have to do is flip the card, not draw a card. One of my score by the by the treasure. No, so go to your. You see where it? You see like your little um your graveyard where it is, bottom right. Yeah, I clicked that and it. You know, flip the card. Do I? That's the one I put in. Yeah, you on that next to where it shows that free trading card game backing. You do flip a card. Yeah. And then it'll automatically go to the flip pile. For me, it just automatically goes into the my hand. It shouldn't. It. That's weird. No, you should just flip the card. If it's going to your hand, you're drawing. <laughs> Okay. There you go. There we go. Oh my okay. god, 10. <laughs> Alright. That's a lot. It's because of those two blue gems. Alright, uh, let me flip one. <laughs> one. <laughs> I'm winning. <laughs> I don't know, it's a very uh, close game. That was a, that was a really close battle. <laughs> Should it be destroyed? Yeah, and then you have to destroy yours because of my trick. Unfortunately, but you still get the score. That's what matters. Yeah. You destroy it. Oh, I see. I await the destruction of your bear. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right, cool. Um, also, remember to go into your go phase when when you're in that battling position. I kind of wish it, it's it's a nitpicky thing. I kind of wish like the I, when you're in ready, it does automatically go to set when you play resource, but it doesn't automatically go to go. You have to select it yourself. I've noticed at least for me, or maybe I'm not getting the hang of it yet. It's been sensitive because like I'll click go phase, but I never see like the light go to go phase for me. Oh, that's weird. I mean, that's fine. This is your first game, so. <laughs> uh, you done with your turn then? Yes, sorry. Alright. Good. Um... I'll see your name and then the play button. I'm like, oh, it's his turn. Okay. Yeah, you have to click the play button. It doesn't automatically... Like, there's a lot of stuff that isn't automatic, which is fine. Most of most of this is automatic, which is just impressive in itself. Like, it's incredible. Uh, I'll play Chuggle Brew Sampler inventory face down um i'm gonna play shifty the shuffler um when i play him i'm gonna i get the score card to me i know how to do that um i'll just oh that's not what i meant hold on whoopsie i'm i'm screwing up a little bit here I don't know how to get him back. Uh-oh. Well, it's fine. Don't worry about it. He's not there anymore. <laughs> it's fine. Everything's fine. I completely forgot how to... There's a way to score without... Um... Yeah, I don't know how it works. There's a way to score without destroying it like that. I don't know why I did that. Weird. Um... Okay. I'm gonna hunt.
Okay. Uh, your turn. Go for it. You can always place in like the the open the field, but I I have a feeling you just want to fight me. <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> okay. Did not take away five of your stars? Oh, there it goes. Okay. <laughs> you have to manually input values. Um, I'm going to give my archer plus two defense. Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. Card of your deck. Okay. Spin flipping. See the gr the great thing about like building your own deck is you can you want to like you know pick whatever cards you want, but you want to like I guess build around the gems you're using. If that makes sense. Yeah. So you'll always get like guaranteed. Score boosting gems. Ooh, nice. By one. I think I was at I was at five, so I got lucky with that. Alright, finish flipping. Goodbye, bat bat. Goodbye to the bat. Alright. Alright, and then I have to do to go. Is it not letting you go to go most of the time? Yeah, it takes a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Like, cause we technically battled, right? So that means yeah. it was kind of already in the go phase. But I have to like trick it and do go after it to yeah. get it to you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Play spike bracers. Uh. I'm just gonna go to my go phase. Uh, yeah, I go to go. I'm good. GG. Nice, good job. You want to go again? We got two more. Yeah, we can do one more. You want to do one more? Okay. Yeah, just cause uh, our. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. All right, uh, reset game. I will play with a different deck. We'll spice things up. Uh. Hold on, that's the wrong deck. Oh, hold on. Hold on, I'm gonna reset the game real quick. I picked the wrong deck. Yeah. Load. There it is. Alright, I'm good. Uh. I'll keep. State vital. Wow. 
while. Uh, and I can't do anything. Your turn. What's the difference between, like, hunt and hunt without zapping? So, hunt without zapping is basically, um, there will be resources or, um, well, yeah, resources. Resources will basically give you the option to hunt without zapping, meaning you can hunt without zapping, which means you'll be able to hunt again. You can hunt okay. twice, basically. Um, but the second time you hunt, you will have to zap, but usually it's on resources, Sometimes it's on creatures. Um, I think it's like very rare to be on creatures, but I see it most on resources. Gotcha. Oh, you have to you have to hunt them, but I mean, or go and zap them. I I see. Okay. Yeah, it yeah. shows you all the options, but it's only you can only do the ones that oh, make sense. Oh, uh, okay. zap, not hunt. Sorry. Because you already scored. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Just pretend you have two. Okay. I can't. I can't. I don't know how to change the value. Yeah. All right. Um. Play Golem Rampage. Um. Play Chicken Bomber. Go um, and hunt. Your turn. So if you win this battle, um, you get to turn a resource, one of my resources down, if you win it. Remember that? I would click attack on you or hunt? Uh, attack on me, because you can't hunt if there's um, a creature in, my, in that spot. Okay. That's why I say, like, if I have two creatures on, like, let's say left and middle, you would want to play your creature on right, because then you could hunt and get a score. Yeah. teacher i'm gonna i'm trying um i know i think i know i know a, a little as much i don't know too much about the gems the gems is where like i always get confused because i don't know how much they give usually i, I pretty i'm pretty sure it yeah. just like doubles the score or something but that's like where i get the most confused i'm gonna pass i don't have anything Oh, now you do the flip thing. Yeah, you do the flip thing. And, like, once you get the basics down, this is a fun... It's fun to play. Nice. That's great. <laughs> yep. 
destroyed. What a shame. Okay, so now you can hunt with the other two. Yep. Oh, uh, you you need to make sure to hunt, not zap. <laughs> There you go. Nice. I can I can tell you don't have a mouse for this. <laughs> it's a very old computer. Yeah. I hope my audio sounds okay, by the way. You no, know, your audio sounds fine. I hear background noise, but that's normal for a laptop. Yeah, I have a computer fan going and everything, especially for this baby. Yeah, oh my god, yeah, laptops, they, uh, they crank out some massive heat waves. When I was, uh, I, I went to school for my master's, actually, and they gave, mm -hmm. uh, all the undergrads, um, Mac laptops, so, like, the small MacBooks. And oh, mine's, yeah. like, a huge Asus computer, so I always felt, like, very, like, bulky and clanky compared to everyone. And just Did very, um, not privileged, uh... <laughs> Yeah. Because they have Macs, and I was like, hey, here's my big computer. Like, I had, um, we had Chrome, uh, this was, like, 2017, we had Chromebooks in my high school, um, and we had the, I, I guess we had the option to take them home with us, but they, they never said anything, like, hey, do you want your Chromebook? I'm like, I didn't say Yeah, what like, about to give it back, too? Yeah, but, uh, Chromebooks kind of suck, so I was like, I don't need a laptop. I, I had built my own computer at that point. Um, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, play. Can I play that? Yes, I can. I'm gonna play Raven Companion. Um. Okay. All I can do an attack. Um, I'm gonna pay you. The trick I get to ready my attacking creature. So, the, uh, on Raven Companion, if I get a red gem, I get plus three defense. Sweet. I love how it only gave me four. That's cool, dude. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I'm attacking. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it didn't work out. I'm attacking. <laughs> I didn't think that through. Oh my god. <laughs> Who do you think won? Oh no. Your turn. <laughs> I am getting absolutely demolished. <laughs> I should have gotten a new hand when I started. <laughs> You're not even gonna play anything, you're just gonna hunt? Yeah, why not? Oh my god, you're savage. Alright, um... Uh... 
Uh, I'll play Careless Driver. Um, I have like boy. Um. Play this guy, Changeling Rock Warrior. Um, I can't, I can't play anything else. Um, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna attack. Uh, I'm gonna pass. I can't do anything. Oh, did you, draw, did you draw a card? No, I did a trick. I know, but you can... So that trick, um, you don't get the plus one, obviously because you're defending, but if it's a nature creature, which it is, you can draw a card. Oh, I see. Cool. Can we do that? Yeah. Done. Neat little thing in the trick. Um, pass again. That works. Uh, slipping. <sighs> Clear. <laughs> sure. Score a card, yes please. Two, I'm getting there. All right, uh, your turn. I'm just gonna let you know something. Um, you have easy money. You can use it to hunt without zapping, if you pay two. Good to know. You just want to fight me. I see how it is. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna let it go to waste. That's true. Um, I'm gonna pass. I still can't do anything. Oh wait, hold on. Well, now I kind of don't. I kind of regret that now. <laughs> oh, mistakes. That's okay. Finish flip. Yep, destroyed. Oh no. <laughs> uh GG. Oh, I won, sweet. You won, yeah. I my hand was so bad. I don't well, even... hey, we each won one, so That's true. We did each win one game. Is there oh, is there yeah, any questions? the tutorial. Yeah, is there any questions you have about it? like anything at all about the game i don't think so i mean i know okay. it was only two games and yeah. you know i know again it's still a matter of figuring out at least the gems but i feel like i yeah. got a good basic understanding of it yeah it's it's it can be addicting if like if we if there's enough people playing this emulator it can it's gonna be really fun <laughs> yeah no it is a lot of fun yeah cool well cool. i'm gonna close up then. yep i'm gonna exit it Yep. Thanks so much, Kyle. Yeah, no problem. Hope you enjoy it. Cool. Hope you play with other people other than yeah. me. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. Bye. No, definitely. All right. 
cool. So, that was TCG with Natalie Claire FRS. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you got some s sort of understanding about how this works. It's a lot of fun. I'll just keep this open just so, like, um, just so I can explain, like, the, like, why I won, why I lost. Um, the reason why I won last time is because, like, I had a really good hand. It all comes down to having a good hand. That's every time that's what it comes down to. I mean, I had a really bad hand. The whole time, I could only play one one creature, and Natalie just overpowered me with, like, so many. <laughs> it's crazy how, like, you don't even have to be good at the game. The game's really, it's all RNG. Like, to get a good hand, um, I also screwed up big time because I could have zapped all of her creatures. We could have stepped still kept going um I, I i saw that and i was like oh my god i regret it um the big thing about like the resources and natalie didn't use hers the big thing is you have to pay attention to what your resources do because again they're not just for coins they're for using they're for abilities for the most part they're almost like tricks in a way, um, except not all of them can be used during the battle phase. So you can use a lot of them during the beginning. Like, easy money. The reason why I let Natalie know about that is because she could have um, instantly won. She didn't have to battle me there. She just did it because she, she likes fighting me. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can use easy money. Easy money is a free hunt. Um, I didn't use it because I don't think I had a chance to this game. But like, literally... The, my hand was garbage. Like, I had thorns the entire time. Thorns, you get four extra stars. But what am I going to use those stars for, right? I don't have anything. But this emulator, I said it while we were playing, but this emulator is so good. It needs to be promoted more. More people need to hear about it. The fact that not a lot of people don't know about it sucks. Um, I, I do think a lot of people need to know about this emulator because it is so good. It's so well done. Most everything is automated, like I was saying. It's a blast. Um, I do hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. I hope it helped in some way if you're looking to play. Uh, and I will be leaving this up for anyone who wants to play it. Um, it's Again, it's a lot of fun. Um, again, thank you to Natalie for joining me. Uh, super fun experience. Again, I haven't played in a bit, so it's kind of... I'm a little rusty, but like I should have <laughs> re-rolled my hand there, but... Yeah, uh, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. If you did, I appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.